Welcome to In The Zone. I'm Jason Hong, and I'm with my co-host, Rocco Farrar. And today we'll be talking about the Aaron Rodgers trade and how he'll fit in. First up, Rocco. Okay, so obviously uh, Aaron Rodgers is going to help the Jets in a lot of different ways, mostly because uh, they didn't have like the best QB, Zach Wilson. He did not fill that role very good going second overall. Uh, so Aaron Rodgers is going to like help in the passing game because Zach Wilson uh, had none of that. And he's uh, going to be like maybe some of a role model to some of the younger players. Do you think the um, Jets are playoff contenders or even Super Bowl? So I don't know if uh, Super Bowl contenders just uh, yet, but uh, I feel like they totally can make the playoffs with uh, Aaron Rodgers as a QB because he has some of his old teammates coming on the Jets too, and he also has Garrett Wilson and also the Jets defense, Sauce Gardner, Quentin Williams, and th- that defense did really good last year. Thank you. Um, what? What do you think the how how do you think the Jets will do with like being in the AFC East, which is one of the hardest um, divisions, with the Dolphins, who just got a lot of good moves in the off season, and the Bills, who are like always top top like five or top three. Yeah. So it's gonna be really hard for the Jets because, like Jason said, the Bills making some moves in this off season, and the Bills being the contenders they are. Oh, we just got some breaking news. Zach Wilson named stealing starting. starting QB. Then what was the whole point of giving Aaron Rodgers a good deal and money? Like, he's going to be their star player. That's a very surprising move by Robert Sala. And the one reason the Jets went off to go get Aaron Rodgers is to have a new QB instead of Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson isn't taking the blame like he did uh, against the Patriots. Um, very surprising moves by Ro- uh, by Robert Sala. His start of the season's getting shaky. Come back on uh, in the zone next time. See you later.